This weekend, my local library had a $5 bag sale. And what that is, is anything you can fit into a paper grocery bag is only five bucks for the entire bag. So here's what I walked away with. The records I got are quite a bit dirty and I'll definitely need to clean them, but I don't think there's anything that's too bad. First, I'll start off with the LPs I picked up. There's Urban Chipmunk, and then a KTEL disco record, disco compilation. Uh, Wild Cherry, The Silvers, Rose Royce, Casey and the Sunshine Band. I think this is a 1978 or 77 release. So I don't think I'll be playing that one much, and this one is actually pretty torn up. So those are the only two LPs. We've got Blood, Sweat and Tears, Heidi Ho, backed with the Battle. Artie Shaw on Bell Record, Stop and Go Mambo and Tenderly. Roger Vaduris, Get Used to It. And the next time around, never heard of him. On Camden, we've got Tex Beneke and his orchestra. On the Paris label, Repeat After Me, The Four Esquires, with Rosemary June. This was an interesting one. This is the Cadets, I Want You, backed with Stranded in the Jungle. Stranded in, in the Jungle, that was covered by the New York Dolls on their second album. And they almost did it note for note. Great, great doo version on this. Marianne Faithful, Green Sleeves, back with As Tears Go By. Or I imagine it's probably As Tears Go By, backed with Green Sleeve. But either way, it's got Marianne Faithful, As Tears Go By. Steve Miller Band, Something to Believe in, and The Joker. On the Heartbeat label, Seymour, I'll See You in My Dreams. And Some of These Days. We've got Nat King Cole, Nothing in the World and come closer to me. Perry Como. Doesn't really matter what's on this because it all sounds the same from Perry Como. King Arthur's Minds by Eddie Lawrence. And The Old Philosopher on Coral. Frank Sinatra, A Jealous Lover. And you forgot all the words on capital. Giselle McKenzie. I don't know if I know anything about her. Actually, I do know I know I don't know anything about her. On Bell, Tony Russo and Jimmy Carroll and Orchestra backing him up. Another Bell record. This Joan Price, a number of these records were uh, Joan Price has written on. Uh, Arthur Norman, Fanny, with Count Your Blessings instead of Sheep. On the dot label, we've got Pat Boone. On Decca, Ike Carpenter and his orchestra, Shoo My Blues Away. And ain't nothing baby without you. Ain't nothing, nothing baby without you. On Q Records, Katie March, 
with the Ray Charles Singers. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. And three guys and a blonde. Did I say Katie March? I meant Kathy March. Bobby Gentry, Ode to Billy Joe with Mississippi Delta. Another Joan Price dot release, Pat Boone. On Atco, we've got Bobby Darren, Nature Boy, and Look For My True Love. All right, here's the seven inch picture sleeves. We've got Dave Pell covering the big bands of the day. We've got a Benny Goodman EP. The Vintage Goodman. Let's see, this isn't on roulette. This is Tommy Dorsey. We've got Ricky Lee Jones, Chucky's in Love. And on Saturday afternoons in 1963. Julio Iglesias and Diana Ross, all of you. Got Leonard Skinner, Take Your Time, and Sweet Home Alabama. Gallery, I Believe in Music. Andre Castellanitz, Hudson River Suite. Jim Croce, Salon and Saloon, and I'll Have to Say I Love You in a song. We've got Three Dog Night, The Way Back Home. And the show must go on. Guy Clark, Fool in a Mirror, Homegrown Tomatoes, Chicago, Feeling Stronger Every Day, and Jenny. More Chicago, Hide Away, and Old Days on Columbia. June Christie. The Bee Gees, Love You Inside Out, and I'm Satisfied. Peaches and Herb, Reunited. And Easy as Pie. Melissa Manchester, I Got Eyes, and Midnight Blue. Barry Manilow, I Am Your Child, and Could It Be Magic? The Captain and Tennille, Love Will Keep Us Together. Back with Gentle Stranger. Gloria Gaynor, I Will Survive. Back with Substitute. Actually, I think this was Substitute. Back with I Will Survive. The Thornbirds theme. My mom definitely watched the Thornbirds. Julio Iglesias and Willie Nelson, to all the girls I've loved before. Little space age for you. I didn't know these. they put these out in seven inches. Dynamic percussion. Louis Armstrong, a tribute to the immortal Fats Waller. We got a couple flexies. Great men of music. 
a Time Life Classic. And As You Remember Them. Nothing there. And some Percy Faith, Paul Weston, Michael Legrand, and Morton Gould. And lastly, the stack of CDs. I haven't bought a used CD in probably 20 years, but for pennies on the dollar, I couldn't resist. Most of these are ones I never had before. A uh, few of them I got to resell, uh, but I'll definitely be listening to a chunk of these, but not these first two. Sam Hawksley, Somewhere in My Mind. The only reason I got this is because it's got his autograph to a young woman named Jennifer. And the same thing with Alex Mariol or Mariol, they call me Lefty. Another autograph to Jennifer. Captain Beefheart, Trout Mask Replica, one of the most overrated albums. I've ever seen discussed in the VC. Erasure, the Two Ring Circus. You know, as a kid, I never really liked Erasure because I didn't really like their music. It didn't hit hard. But as I've gotten older, I've learned to really enjoy them. And my wife really enjoys them, so that makes it easier too. Diggable Planets, Reachin'. A new refutation of time and space. I had this in college. It has that one song that was a hit of theirs, uh, Rebirth of Slick, Cool Like That. Arrested Development. Three years, three months, and two days in the life. MIA. Sebado 3. Van Morrison, Moondance. Bjork, uh, what's this one? Post. Brian Eno, Taking Tiger Mountain by Strategy, as well as before and after science. Both of these are imports made in Holland. Looks like they're part of a, uh, a set, original masters. Laurie Anderson, Big Science. Milli Vanilli, girl, you know it's true. I couldn't resist this. And like I said, for a couple cents, why not? Just to sort of laugh at. Pulp, different class. The Lost Boys soundtrack. XTC, Skylarking. Weezer's Blue Album. Bob Mould um, Workbook. And lastly, Van Halen or Van Hagar OU812. So all in all, that's a pretty good stack of music for only $5. Even though a lot of these 45s like the one you're looking at right now are pretty much fodder for Goodwill. Um, I know I'll make it through some of them. As far as the LPs go, maybe I'll throw the Chipmunk one on for my kids and they'll find it funny. But after one play, that'll be going to Goodwill as well. But that's what I got. I hope you guys enjoy. Peace.